Hi, welcome to Antique Radio Archaeology. In 1955, the Fillmore Company introduced their Bakelite and Phantom Stock Clip version of their tried and true Supertone Crystal Radio. The Supertone Crystal Radio was introduced in 1926 and it originally had a metal chassis available in green, orange, red, and rose colors. And later on, other colors became available throughout the years. The obvious identifier of a Supertone is the infamous beacon detector. While all supertones had binding post connectors, the 1955 version went to phantom stock clips, which I find to be a lot easier to use. The model number changed to 7001 from the original 6582, and strangely the 7001 box still pictured the supertone with the binding posts. Now these radios all share the same schematic, which is also identical to the Fillmore Blackbird schematic that I just did in the last published video. It's simply a wire round coil with a wiper and detector. And while the radio I have here doesn't really require any restoration, I do want to do something to preserve the box, which is in pretty bad shape. But before I do that, let's go ahead and fire it up and see how this thing works. Tunnel to Towers Foundation, they made a promise to ensure that we never forget, and since then they have been committed to supporting America's heroes and their families, and that's hero. So as you can see, this box is in really rough shape. There's pieces of it here. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use some poster board here and create a backing for all this. So.
Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've obviously strengthened the box and I took some markers and I went ahead and kind of repaired some of the damage, not all of it, but a lot of it. Now, uh, the problem I have is this stuff is all flaking off the whole surface. So this thing is in really bad shape. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a coat of acrylic to try and seal it all in. I think it turned out pretty decent. Uh, it's not perfect, and I didn't expect it to be. But just wanted to I think it presents pretty well, actually. So I really love crystal radios, and I was glad to be able to show you this one. And uh, as far as the box is concerned, I actually was considering throwing it away, and uh, kind of glad I changed my mind. I, I think it turned out pretty well under the conditions it was in, so I uh, can't really complain there. So. Hope you enjoyed today's video and hope to see you again next one.